Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a prayer profile of someone I have not heard of yet again. This is one where I actually found in the comments of another content creator. I, you know, obviously I look at other content creators in the FM scope uh, and FM space and see where they're going and what they want to see. Uh, and this is one I found in one of the comments of another video and figured, you know what? I haven't heard of this kid. Let's take a look. He is a 19 year old Icelandic boy. Uh, it's sitting in FC Copenhagen right now, Hakan Anar Haraldsson. So we'll see what happens with him. His numbers actually don't look too bad. Passing of 13, long shots, okay. Free kick, first touch of 13 is great. So he's got some good numbers, especially for a 19 year old. Definitely room to grow though. 10 crossings, not great. Heading of seven is pretty poor. Uh, marking of four is absolutely god awful, especially for me. I would like a midfielder who can actually do some defending. Doesn't seem to work for this one. Uh, but positioning of six is not great. So there are definitely numbers he needs to grow in in order to be really successful in a save that I would do at least. But at least he looks good enough on paper to kind of scout him out, see what he's like in your save. Career milestone-wise, though, you, you can see he's got his first international cap at 19. Super League of Champions with Copenhagen. Uh, scored his first senior club goal and made his senior club debut. So he's got the usuals. But we're going to skip ahead 10 years, see where he ends up. Well, at the tail end of the 2033 season, as you can see, he's actually in Italy with Bari. Uh, so he's moved around not too much. He went to Lo FC Lorient. But as you can see, his numbers haven't grown all that much. Acceleration and pace are down. I mean, 12 is not great for acceleration, especially for an attacking midfielder. But, I mean, first touch is great at 15, up with 14 technique, 16 flair. So he definitely has some good numbers. Some just haven't, you know, done very well. Marking has gone down to three. Uh, six positioning still, concentration of 10. So I don't think he's going to be a massive starter for a Liverpool, for a Man City or Real Madrid or something like that. But for a low-level team, a mid-level team, he could do somewhat well. I mean, as you can see with Body, where are they? So Body was set, is predicted to be 17th this season. Uh, they won or they came in second and were promoted last season, relegated the season before. But overall, I mean... He's okay. So he does have a negative eight potential at the start of the save, which basically means when you actually start the save, he could be anywhere from 130 to 160 as his fixed potential. So he does have room to grow. Again, if he's treated well, if he's tutored well, if he sees the pitch, doesn't see the medical staff all that much, uh, he definitely can grow very well. But every time is different, but it doesn't look like he got up towards the 160 area. But I mean, still, not too bad. Definitely want to scout, see how he's growing in your save uh, and see if he's worth bringing in. But 698 in Serie A, 33 plus one appearances, three goals, five assists. Not too bad. We'll see where he's been playing. Tim Cup, 7-2. So overall, not a horrible player. Career stats wise, though, as you can see, he did go from Iceland. Don't know how to pronounce that team for an undisclosed fee to Denmark up to FC Copenhagen. Loaned out to FC Lorient in France. Did OK, 681. Uh, has, I mean, he's got a couple of okay numbers, not too bad in, at Copenhagen, but he did move on to free to Lorient afterwards, did okay there, 7-2-3, a fantastic job with Lorient, uh, then moved off to body for, on a free, so 6-9-8, not doing too badly there, unfortunately, you know, we'll see how he does kind of at that lower level uh, tier, but overall, I mean, milestone-wise, he's these seasonal best 11s, Domino's League 2 champions, doesn't seem to have a lot of personal trophies to his name. Super League of Champions with Copenhagen. Danish Reserve League Champion. So he's, I mean, Copenhagen's a pretty good team from what I understand in Denmark. So he's got a, a couple of trophies from them, but that's about it. Injury-wise, he's got a lot of moderates, two majors in there. So definitely something to keep an eye on. I mean, he doesn't have a huge list, but still, every now and again, it looks like he's got a couple of, you know, look at this, three weeks out, 27, two weeks out. Um, so every now and again, he is going to get a couple of injuries this season, and they probably aren't going to always be slight. For club tactic-wise, he's primarily being used as a central midfielder. 36 appearances, 3 goals, 6 assists, 7-0 average rating. Internationally, though, AMR with 1 and AMC is 42 appearances, 6 8, 5. 
So, I mean, he is playing a fair amount, it seems, in the international team. 72 caps right there. But we do have time to go, so we'll see when he retires and how he ends up. But overall, yeah, definitely kind of an average player right now. Well, it is the end of the 2039 season. It seems to be this is where he retires. Uh, his contract does expire in 18 days. However, he is no longer in the database in the 2040 season. He is not saying anywhere that his next plan is to actually retire. But, you know, his physicals are definitely down. He is on loan from Slavia Prague. So I'll take a look at that in a minute. But... You know, his stats are definitely not as you would expect. First touch of free and free kicking of 15s, passing of 15, technique of 14 are still fantastic. So he's got some definitely great numbers, but definitely ones that should really push him to retirement. Career-wise, as you can see, he did spend several seasons in body. It looks like he doesn't really want to get any money for his stuff. Uh, but Slavia Prague on a free for two seasons, well, kind of a season and a little bit, off to Tunis on loan for in Tunisia. Not too great. Uh, did much better in Prague, but yeah, definitely time to retire. His one and only milestone for his own achievement is the 2037-38 Czech Personality of the Year. I don't know what that is. I guess Best Player of the Year, maybe. But got some more champions in this cabinet, some more trophies. But that's a funny one. I like that one. But that is the life and times of Hakon Anar Haraldsson, uh, where he's made his way through Europe and thereabouts. So it's a very interesting career, the way it's progressed. But overall, that is, I mean, he's not too bad of a player. Definitely one to take a look at if you're kind of on the lower side or maybe in the, the lower tiers. But see how he does in your save, let us know. And hopefully he's good enough for you to pick up in your save. But that is it for me, Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.